Welcome to ICT7. We are now in week 5 and our topic is word processing software. Under word processing software, we have mail merge and the references. Mail merge allows you to create a batch of personalized documents where each document shares the same layout, formatting, text, and graphics except for specific personalized parts. These personalized parts can include recipient themes, addresses, and other customized information. You associate a data source, such as an Excel spreadsheet, Outlook contact list, or any other database, with your Word document. Common document types for mail merge. Letters. Create personalized letters with a customized greeting for each recipient. Emails. Send personalized email messages directly from Word, where each recipient's address is the only address on the to line. Envelopes or labels. Generate envelopes or sheets of mailing labels with names and addresses from your data source. Directories. Create a list of information for each item in your data source, also known as catalog merge. Data sources. You can use various data sources, including Excel spreadsheets, Outlook contacts, or any database that Word can connect to. If you don't have an existing data source, you can even type it directly in Word during the mail merge process. Microsoft Word references and citations serve important purposes in academic and professional writing. First, citations. Citations enhance the credibility of your work, demonstrate thorough research, and allow readers to verify the information you've presented. Bibliography The bibliography allows readers to explore the sources further, verify facts, and delve deeper into the topic. Microsoft Word's Reference Tools These tools streamline the process of organizing and formatting references, making it easier for writers to maintain consistency and adhere to specific citation styles. Mail Merge Mail Merge in MS Word is a useful tool that allows you to personalize documents such as letters, envelopes, labels, and emails. Prepare your letter. First, go to mailings, start mail merge, then letters. In Word, type the body of the letter that you want to send to your mailing list. Set up your mailing list. Your mailing list is the data source that contains the information that Word uses to customize your letter. See data sources you can use for a mail merge or Microsoft support. If you need to sort or filter your mailing list, see mail merge edit recipients. Add personalized content to your letter. Add content to your letter that's different for each person who receives it. Go to mailings and then the address block. Choose a format for the recipient's name in the insert address block dialogs and then click choose OK. Next, choose greeting line. Select the format you want to use in the Insert Greeting Line dialog box. For more info, see Insert Greeting Line. Select OK to insert the greeting line field. Next, go to File to Save. To insert other custom information from your mailing list, see Add Mail Merge fields one at a time. 
For a free view and print the letters, go to ma mailings. Go to mailings. Free view results of review. Go to mailings. Then free view results to preview your letters. Choose the next or previews to scroll to your data set to be sure the names and addresses look right. Select for view results again. Switch from the merge results back to the main merge fields in your letter. And select finish and merge print documents. Choose edit individual documents or print documents or send email messages. Save your personalized letter. Go to the file, save. When you save the mail merge document, it stays connected to your mailing list for future use. To reuse your mail merge document, open the mail merge document. Choose yes when Word prompts you to keep the connection. You can learn more about how mail merge for letters works in the following video that is part of a training course. Next, reference. Add a new citation and source to a document. On the References tab, in the Citations and Bibliography group, click the arrow next to Style and click the style that you want to use for citation and source. For example, social sciences documents usually use the MLA or APA styles for citations and sources. Second, click at the end of the sentence or phrase that you want to cite. On the Reference tab, click Insert Citations and do one of the following. To add the source information, click Add New Source and then in the Create Source dialog box, click the arrow next to the type of source and select the type of source you want to use. To so add the placeholder so that you can create the citation and fill in the source information later, click Add New Placeholder. A question mark appears next to the placeholder sources in a source manager. If you choose to add a source, enter the details for the source. To add more information about the source, click the Show All Bibliography Fields checks box. Click OK when finished. The source is added as a citation at the place you selected in your document. Add citations to your document. Click at the end of the sentence or phrase that you want to cite. And then, on the Reference tab in the Citation or Bibliography group, click Insert Citations. From the list of citations under Insert Citation, select the citation you want to use. Find Source The list of sources that you use can become quite long. At times, you might need to search for a source that you cited in another document. On the References tab in the Citations and Bibliography group, click Manage Sources. To find a specific source, do one of the following. In the sorting box, sort by author, title, citation tag name, or year, and then look for the source that you want in the resulting list. In the search box, type the title or author for the source that you want to find. The list dynamically narrows to match your research term. Edit the source. On the References tab in the Citations and Bibliography group, click Manage Sources. In the Source Manager dialog box, under Master List or Current List, select the source you want to edit and then click Edit. Note, to edit a placeholder to add citation information, select the placeholder from Current List and click Edit. In the Edit Source dialog box, make the changes you want and click OK. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.